y'all hey it's Trey Monet back to y'all with another video so in today's video I will be going ahead and organizing my inventory y'all my inventory has been so unorganized probably for the last three to four weeks my inventory has been so unorganized sometimes I can't find stuff I really just need to make sure my organize my inventory rather is just super organized just so that way I can find things seamlessly that ultimately also helps me package orders faster and I'm just making sure that all of my books and all of my inventory sheets and everything matches up with my Shopify of what is on my website so I'm not selling something that I don't already have. So um, about to get started um, organizing inventory. I just left Dollar Tree and I bought these little, yeah I have three. So I bought these little um, collapsible organ, um, storage containers. So I got these, I got three of them. And this is just what they look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my new little storage area and show y'all how work unorganized everything is. And y'all will definitely understand what I'm saying. I gotta get some organization about my life because I start a new job next week. And whew, like I, I work a nine to five right now, but like I'm about to work a real deal nine to five. Like before I was making my own work hours, this time I'm not. So I have to make sure that I am super organized. So that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend is just making sure everything is super organized. So that way when I start my new job next week, I'm not like all over the place. So yeah, just stay tuned um, and watch me organize my inventory. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new pieces that I got as well. So yeah, let's just get started. All right, y'all. So this is what we're working with. A bunch of just stuff literally everywhere. And there is just a bunch of new arrivals. Over here is stuff that, new arrivals at the top, sunglasses, accessories. It's just really stuff literally everywhere. I got handbags back there that y'all can't see. Um, so yeah, I kind of started trying to organize everything, but it's not how I want it to be just yet. And then, like I said, in this corner down here, we have handbags. Back there is just shipping supplies and whatnot. So yeah, I'm really trying to just get everything organized, but it's been a struggle, y'all. Then over here, we have a bunch of new arrivals. So these are all of my mini handbags that just came in. Super cute. Go and grab you one before they sell out. <laughs> y'all, I love these little bags. They are literally so cute. But yeah, these are just new arrivals that will be dropping this weekend. And I have to go ahead and fold all of these up package them up in these little clear um, bags over here just so that way when it's time to package these orders um, or these orders over here on the shelf rather I don't have to just sit there and package each one individually it'll kind of already be packaged and ready for me to just grab and package for the customer and then like I said up here we have sunglasses I just took a picture of these that's why they're unwrapped and then these are my jeans up here that I have from my boutique that I own I just have them up there because I take pictures in them frequently. I have a backdrop and then these are a bunch of new dresses that just came in. And then another thing over here full of sunglasses. So yeah, I have a lot of organizing to do y'all. Like literally so much stuff. I have face mask in there, face shields in there that I'll be adding to my site. Let me show y'all what they look like actually. So this is the face shield right here that I'll be adding to the site. This Sunday I'm going to do free with purchase. So all of our customers that purchase on Sunday will be able to get one of these for free. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just move some of this stuff out of the way. Kind of see what kind of space I'm working with. So I'm just gonna move this box over here. And move that out of the way. And here are my little sunglass bags. So I've ordered a hundred sunglass bags like this, just to go ahead and put my sunglasses in. Just something cute um, to give my customers as well. So I have that in there. This box is now empty, so we just gonna move that. I'm trying to really get rid of all of these boxes. Like there's boxes everywhere. So yeah, let's get started. I'm organizing everything. Let me go get my clear bags. Okay. So these are the clear bags that I was telling you guys about. Here is a small portion of them. 
And then these are larger bags right here that I'll be putting some of my sets in and some of those larger, more heavier items. I got these from Amazon and they're by the brand Spartan Industrial, if y'all can see that. It's from the brand Spartan Industrial. I'll go ahead and link both of them down below. The smaller size I have is in nine by 12. The larger size I have is by in size 12 by 15. So I usually go ahead and use these when vendors send me something like this. So if a vendor sends me something like this, I used to go ahead and just send it to the customer like this, but I don't want the vendor's information on there. So that's where these come in handy because it's just clear so I don't have to worry about any of that. I think I'm going to start by opening these and do I have any scissors or anything? So I got some scissors. Oh, let me turn this off. So I got some scissors and we're going to just open these up real quick and these right here i got to go on that top shelf so when i gave y'all kind of like a little visual of the entire shelf i'm pretty sure sure you've seen the top of it so these are going to go on the top just to give me extra storage space and keep everything like a little bit more organized so that's what i got these for okay so they come like this and you just literally open it up and then you have a little shelf I don't think these fit in here, do they? Okay, these still fit in there. So I could get some more and have drawers, but I'd rather everything kind of be visual, um, just so I can see what's in there and not have to pull out each individual drawer. But the way that I've been organizing this um, little shelf unit, I also got this from Amazon, sorry if I didn't mention that. I'll go ahead and put that down below too. Um, I think it's like 12, yeah, it's 12 little cubbies. And then you have like a whole entire top row. So the way I've been organizing it is anything that's older or that's on clearance or sale, sale piece, anything older, I've been going ahead and putting it on this bottom shelf. Um, and then anything that's kind of like newer, I've been putting it here. So this entire row right here is for my summer spending campaign. So those are all of those pieces. Right here I have some tracksuits that came in. I have so many more tracksuits, I literally have like a lot of tracksuits y'all it's crazy so i'm probably going to be needing two um cubes for that over here is all of my jeans and then i have my stack pants um in this top area and then up here is just random stuff accessories new arrivals and just a bunch of stuff that just really needs to be organized so i think inside of here i'm gonna go ahead and put um sunglasses and then these sunglass bags in one of these as well. Probably put them in one. I think. I don't know. Because I don't want to use all of these. But we'll see. So literally y'all just doing this with me at this point. Because I don't really know how I'm organizing this. I'm just kind of going with the flow. And just trying to do something that works best for me. So that way we can package orders. I already packaged my orders real quick, but I need to be quicker. Because <laughs> I got stuff I got to do. Like packaging orders takes a lot of time. So, oh, okay. It comes with like this little thing at the bottom that you can put to kind of keep it together. I was wondering what that was. I thought it came with two, but it, don't, it only comes with one. Okay, cool. So we got our little cubbies. We got these together. So I'm going to just put these to the side. And we'll work on those in a second. Oh, I probably can put handbags in one too. So I'll do accessories and I'll put sunglasses in one. Shipping supplies. See, I have like shipping supplies right here. Like all my hang tag stuff. I'll put that in one. And then I'll put handbags in the other. So I'll do sunglasses, hang tag supplies, and handbags in one. So yeah, we got that together. Okay. So I'm going to work in this little smaller section down here because this my sale area is kind of skimped, which is good. <laughs> that means I've been selling stuff. So let me bring y'all a little closer. So this, like I said, is all of my like stuff that's on clearance. So I got like a couple two-piece sets right here. And work out all the pieces here and then just like this one random black dress. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put all of this in one cubby. 
and I'm gonna put it over here in this one on this side. First, let that fell off. Yeah, I'm gonna put them all in this little area right here. Hopefully I get rid of a lot of this stuff because this weekend I'm doing a back to school sale. My entire site will be about one get one fifty percent off. So hopefully I can get rid of some of this stuff because I done had it for a little minute. And then there's some other sell stuff on there too, so that'll go in this one. So over here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my track suits, which are in this box over here. Alright y'all, so this entire thing, let me see if I can show y'all. All of these are tracksuits. Literally full and full and full of tracksuits. Like legit tracksuits galore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the tracksuits in this packaging because I'm afraid that my packaging is too big or too small rather for them. And they just look better in this packaging. It doesn't have any vendor information besides the style code. And then this also helps me keep track of which ones are plus size and which ones are regular. So, you guys can see here, it has plus on it. So those are the ones that are plus size. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate them right now according to which ones are plus size and which ones that aren't. And then these are right here aren't plus size. These are regular size. So I'll go ahead and put those, um, not exactly sure where, but we'll see. <laughs> so these are just all black. These are plus size pink olive and I have one black one left. And then I have all of these two, which are regular size too. So these are all regular size track suits. Um, if you guys haven't seen these on my site already, they're the seamless tracksuit set. It's one size fits all for the regular size, so that'll just be small, medium, and then for the plus size, I recommend if you're a size large to get the plus size just because it gives you a little bit more room. So that's all the way from large to about 1X. So yeah, legit, I have so much stuff over there. I think what I'm going to do is take out this stuff that's in this like sale area and leave it in these tubes. Just because I think I'm going to take that stuff off of the site and relaunch it for Black Friday at like a special rate or something like that. So it just doesn't really serve a purpose being in there right now because I might just go ahead and put this stuff right here in my closet. But we'll see. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do because I think that's all of the tracksuits. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Take all of this out because I'm running out of space. I think what I'm gonna eventually do is just buy a whole nother one of these shelves from Amazon because I don't have that much space y'all. Okay, cool. So we got all of those in there. So move this trash over there. So in here, like I said, in this container, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this kind of like older inventory in here. And then I have some older inventory as well on the hanger that I have to put in these bags that'll go in here as well. And I'll probably just put this in my closet or maybe in front of the rack or something like that. We'll see. Sitting on my braids. Pull it all of my shipping labels supply. Not shipping labels. Um, hang tags in here. If y'all haven't seen my hang tags or how haven't seen my how I ship my orders video, make sure you guys check that out. These are my hang tags right here. If it focuses, you can see it right here. And then this is my hang tag gun. This is how I go ahead and put the holes in the hang tag. I also just invested in these little clothing pin tag things. Just because not every piece of clothing has, um, what is this? It's literally always freaking fake sugar daddy accounts messaging me, y'all, like, all the time. Anyways, that's, go, that's how I go ahead and attach it. And then these are the uh, 
cloth things that I can go ahead and use here. I got these um pretty much to use for my um purses because I couldn't use couldn't poke a hole in the purse and use this. So that's what I pretty much got this for is for purses and accessories so that way they can have hang tags on them. And then box of tags and this is a big box of the tags as well. So I'll go ahead and leave all of that here just because this is kind of like my shipping station area so that way I can go ahead and tag everything and then put it out. What would be ideal for me to do is to go ahead and tag everything already individually. My bad y'all, my camera cut off. But what I was saying was it'll be ideal for me to go ahead and hang tag everything right now but that would literally take years. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and organize everything first and then probably like next week or later on this weekend, I'll go ahead and tag everything so it's literally super fast. So that way as soon as like a customer grab order something, I can go ahead and get it, package it up, ship it. So I'm not having to like open the bag up and then tag it and then all of that good stuff. So yeah, got all of that in there. This is gonna go on that top oh, area up there. And then these two is gonna be for purses and accessories so move that one in here for now so this is a big box of purses that i got the other day these are from these are our mini handbags so i'm just gonna go ahead and put these in here like this for now i don't plan on shipping this plastic in um with the order but it does come with like a dust bag so i am going to keep that on there when i ship it but this just allows me to know what color it is because they're kind of wrapped tight and you can't really see the color, but it does say the color on this sticker. So I'm gonna just keep that in there until it's time to ship them. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. And then up there, you guys probably can't see it. I have a bunch more wrap from purses that I have. So another box go over there so yeah these are all of our purses in here and yeah so put these to the side put those like over here cool all right so jeans can just stay like that i'm not too worried about the jeans being right there however i do want to move these track suits down and probably move this stuff over here in this um, just so that way all the track suits can kind of be in like their own little area. So actually what I'm going to do is move these jeans down, move this down, move this in there, and move this in there. If that makes sense. <laughs> so let me see how this going to work. So we're going to move these track suits down because I still have track suits that are home. So it's going to be a lot more than this little snack. So... there and then what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and package this set right here up. so this one is already tagged this was an order that was returned so I just had to make un, un Package it to make sure it was correct. So we're just gonna go ahead and package it back up. And make sure you can always see the tag in the front, like so, like that, like my good sis say. And then go ahead and close it. like to press the air out to make it flat as we can so yeah that's how this one looks so this is literally how my packages look when i send them to my customer and then sometimes i wrap them in tissue paper sometimes i don't it just depends on how um big the item is and if it, my tissue paper can fit around it so what i think i'm gonna do is put these right here since they're a little heavier and then these dresses that i have right here and hopefully these all fit. It should. I'm gonna have to just break up how I put them in there. Everything is 
already in size order so i like to put everything like the biggest size at the bottom so like this right here we only have one so that's the only one and then right here we have two and then so on i might have to go ahead and leave some of that inventory on that hanger rack because i don't have much room right here unless i go ahead and add it to take this away put it in another cubby or something like that So this stuff right here, these little tie-dye sets, I'm going to go ahead and put those right here since I have no more room up there. So yeah, so that's how that's looking for right now. Um, okay, so these stack pants, oh, I really do not feel like undoing those today. Hmm. Actually, I have a lot of orders for stack pants that I have to deliver or fulfilled tonight so I'm actually not going to go ahead and move these or unpackage these and repackage them in my packaging because I can just do that tonight while I'm doing it I don't mind but for the purposes of this video we're not going to do that tonight so we're just going to put these back in here and then we're going to move those stack pants in there so these will just be all pants these are all dresses and rompers, sets, um, track suits. So we got jeans, we got stack pants. There's another pair right here that I have to put in there. And yeah, so that's good to go. Up here, like I told y'all, this is all the packaging from, wow. This is all the packaging from the accessories. So what I'm going to do is put that packaging inside of here, since this bin will be for accessories anyway, just for now. So, put all of that in here, and just put that to the side, we'll just open it up. Okay, so what next? Next we have these dresses up here, let me get them so y'all can see. So these dresses up here, I just got these in yesterday. So this is what these dresses look like. They're really like long midi dresses, but not really. Um, they're kind of maxi. I would just call them maxi because they're kind of long, but I'm short, so they would be midi on everybody else. But anyways, these already come how my packaging already is. So I'm just gonna leave these in here as the vendor didn't put any extra like special packaging on them which is great so that way I can save um, some of my own personal bags and I don't have to sit here and unpack each one. Only thing that I have to do is just tag them with my um, tagging information. But what I think I'm going to do y'all is some vendors that I order from frequently I'm probably going to just ask them can they tag my stuff for me um, because taking it out of the package putting it back in to tag it kind of is really time consuming and time is money and around here we work harder not smarter i meant smarter not harder y'all this is a long day <laughs> so yeah we got all of those in there y'all can see that who is this oh she wore the dress y'all this is my best friend right here she got my dress on it's so cute I don't have these on the site no more, but this is so cute. So, in this big old box right here, we have some, excuse me, we have some t-shirts that just came in last week that I took pictures of and uploaded those this week, early, earlier this week rather. So, this is the t-shirts and this is what they look like. Right here it says, ain't Laurent without you biz, or how do you say it? I think I said you biz, right? Or you biz, or something like that. Y'all don't know, but, but yeah. So we got these, and then I also got them in black. So we have them in black, and we have them in white. So what I'm about to do right now is tag these. Um, We're gonna tag these and we're gonna wrap them individually because I hate when vendors do this. Legit, y'all, look how this vendor packaged my order like this. Like, I hate when vendors don't individually wrap 
my items because it just makes me feel like they're not secure for some reason. And I don't like that. We don't like that over here at once. So what I'm gonna do is package these up. Um hole hole punch some of these tags. And we're gonna get a ball rolling with these. I'm pretty sure a lot of the orders that I have to fulfill tonight require some of these. So what I usually do to tag my items is the shirt is right here. If it has a tag on it, then I use the tag gun. If it doesn't have a tag on it, then I'm then usually I try to find an area of the shirt that's thick. So like right here in this collar area, it's kind of a thick area. So I would tag it there if it didn't have a tag. But I would suggest doing that because you don't want nobody coming to you. Hey girl, my um clothes rip trying to take the tag off da, 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 da. so that's how my stuff looks after it's tagged super cute it adds just like a nice professional touch to it because you already have the vendor information on your clothing so you don't want like all your vendor information on your clothes basically so we got one done All right, y'all, so I just finished going ahead and tagging everything. Like I said, I was gonna go ahead and package everything in our clear little packages, but it's getting late and I got a lot of orders to fulfill. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that tomorrow. But this entire box is now empty. So I'm gonna just place that over there and then put all of my supplies back in my little basket over here. So yeah, these are all of the shirts right here. Folded them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here for now. Like that. Because I have a lot of those to package tonight too. So, I don't wanna spend too much time doing that, but I'm gonna already have to package them tonight for some orders I have to fulfill anyway. So these are all the sunglasses that I have releasing. I just took a picture of all these, which is why they all like tangled up in here. I might keep all of these right here for myself because I got a bunch, y'all. I have more coming in next week too. So they're all right here individually wrapped. Well, individually wrapped and protected and all that good stuff right in here. So this right here is gonna be for sunglasses. So I'm gonna take all of this wrapping out. All right, y'all, so I just went ahead and finished filling up this entire thing with all of the sunglasses and packaging those up. So now both of these are now empty. Like I said, I have like three or four more pair styles of sunglasses coming. And I think they're like a dozen each. So I have a lot of sunglasses coming in next week. So I left some room at the top for those. So those will fit in there just fine. And then on this side, I put all of our little bags here, sunglass bags that I've got. I think I'm gonna go and get my Cricut machines tomorrow or this weekend rather. So that way I can go ahead and put the logo on these. So that way it can kind of just like look real nice and real fancy and all of that good stuff. So when I package these, I'm gonna leave this in here just for extra protection, protection during transit. Put them in here like that. Tuck the little piece and then have it in there like this. So this is super cute. It'll be way cuter if I had my logo on it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do this weekend is go get the Cricut and do it. We'll see. All right, y'all, so I'm finally finished with just about everything that I'm gonna do right now, or tonight rather. Like I said, I have a lot of orders to fulfill tonight, so it just didn't make sense for me to go ahead and organize everything, cause I'm kinda just gonna be able, be pulling everything as well. So, and I'm tired, and it's been a long day, <laughs> but I did get a lot done. So this down here, like I said, is all of our tracksuits. We have tracksuits here, dresses from the Summer's Pending Campaign, sets over here from the Summer's Pending Campaign. And then up here we have jeans, this corset. We also have stack pants in both of these. This right here is empty because back there I have these new arrivals that I have to go ahead and put in here. 
and then just some other little items back here that I have to go ahead and put over into this drawer right here so that's why this one is empty and then up here we have in here we have all of our mini bags so this is what my mini bags look like right here so that's everything these are all the mini bags that are in that cube And then in here, we have all of our hang tag supplies. And then in here, we have all of our sunglasses and then sunglass cases. So yeah, that's pretty much everything, y'all. Literally, I tried my best to organize everything. Y'all, I have the biggest mess right here. Like, look at all this stuff that I have to go ahead and clean up. Like, all of this stuff I have to clean up. But yeah, that's pretty much everything, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you guys also check out the rest of the Boss Babe series. I'm super excited about it. Stay tuned for something that I'm really, really, really working hard on. Because I've been getting so many questions about boutique business, about business in general. And I just really want to just help as many people as I can because I don't know everything at all. But I feel like... I'm at a point now where I've done a lot of research. I know what works, I know what doesn't work. So I'm super excited to just help more people. So if you guys do have any questions, feel free to DM me. Like people have literally been DM DMing me any questions about vendors, any questions about where to get things, how to do things, marketing, strategy, any of that other stuff. Just feel free to DM me. I love talking about business. I can talk about business all day. <laughs> so yes, feel free to DM me. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.